So you drug home a Fox Body Mustang, like me, and now you have some questions. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, two things. First, what sort of information you get from a Carfax or auto check report and uh, how to do that. The other thing I'm going to show you is how to decode the little sticker in the door jam that tells you all the features that were factory. Did the car come with a automatic or manual? Are these factory T-tops? What's what? And last thing, you stick around, I'm going to introduce you to this car. Okay, VIN numbers on these cars are found like most cars. Driver's side window, as well as the door jam. And you really hope that this matches the car title you're getting. And this is where all the factory uh, information is, what uh, were the factory features this car came with, uh, all coded right here. And I'll show you how to decode that. So I Googled a lot last night and this was harder than it should have been. Uh, actually, if you type in 1987 Mustang door decoder on your first page, you get the two most helpful things, foxchassis.com decoders and this SSP Mustang article. So the SSP Mustang article, there you go. You get the little legend key, very helpful graphic here, tells you what's what. Then if you go, oh, sorry, let me go back. This is what the first page looks like. You want to know, like me, what was the interior original color? What was what trim packages were factory? You type in your VIN, you hit the code. Then this guy pops up. You take your door tag and start filling it out. There's March 87. That one's the easy one to decode. Uh, body type, it was one of these. Um, for molding, I had www, etc and then click decode and that's what I had so it was indeed originally Oxford White it was originally before it was came black it was beige um, let's see it said it had the white body molding with a red uh, tape insert and it is indeed a factory t-top car and a factory five-speed car good things to know okay so what kind of goodies can you get from a carfax or auto check report so here's the carfax homepage. top in the van pay the fee i think it's a 39 dollar fee for a single report you can get six for a bundle price um yeah there's the pricing uh, or auto checks who I've used in the past. Um, I think it's it's twenty five dollars for one report or fifty dollars for up to twenty five reports. So uh, we got the multi pack and uh, ran these for me and the other FOMO Bros and Paul. And so um, here is a sample of these reports and what sort of detective info we get on our old car, our old project. So there she is, 33 year old car. Um, here's interesting stuff. So uh, I believe I'm the 17th owner of this car and this car has been sold seven times in the past five years. So this is the project that everyone thought they were going to work on and maybe they all found the, the crack in the block and decided um, they weren't willing to go the distance with it, but you see that this car has been a Kentucky or Tennessee car for its entire life. Um, other interesting facts, um, let's see, here we go, accident report. So I'm guessing 97 was when it got repainted for the first time. Uh, it went from Oxford white to bright white, and then in 99, another accident, maybe that's when it got changed over to black, and it's had three or four more layers of paint since then so I'll talk about that later but uh, this is all very interesting as you're getting to know your your project car and its story where it started life where it's been uh, uh, how many people have, have owned it and all those questions you get answered so that's pretty much the extent of my detective skills 
do a quick walk around here. Um, you'll notice that from the cell photos, I've already put uh, the original wheels back on. Got those from from Richard. Uh, <laughs> had a huge gap here. Been working. I'll show a video about some repair work. Trying to get that tucked back in, flush with the door. Put the ground effects back on it. Uh, came to me with a the engine was out of it. Found a nasty crack in the block that uh, made him fall out of love with this project pretty quickly. So got one of those ordered. Uh, these were the wheels, the wannabe ponies that were on it. Um, so putting those back to original. Uh, I'll show you some of the interior. Got that all torn out, got the carpet. Revealed some floorboard damage I got to deal with. Um, but it's a complete car. It's a, it's a project. The price was right. And she got my T-tops. Uh, that doesn't lie. Uh, it shows all the layers. So this car from the factory was painted Oxford white. Had some damage. Was painted bright white. Someone got tired of bright white. Painted it black. Painted it blue after that. Painted it back to white. Changed the wheel somewhere in there. Painted it blurple. And now we have to strip all that away. Back down to steel. And this is where I want to put it. Uh, white over titanium with the red trim stripe. So that's where we're headed. I'm at my project car. And you know as much as I do about her. Um, 87 original T-tops beige interior. Um, anyway, I'll do a separate video to talk budget and uh, where I plan to go and how much I plan to spend. And so look for that in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.